Welcome to my channel. This is my first time doing this in this style, but I had I had like two people ask me to do trends and style them with vintage and thrifting. So I'm styling it with vintage and thrifting. Um, you will likely hear my child in the background and you will likely see my child at one point or another, but it's part of the gig, man. I got a seven month old baby. He makes cameos, he likes to be included in stuff. I basically, I started off doing some research for 22 fall winter trends, seeing what people are really loving right now. And I picked out six different outfits on this. It's my goal with these videos and with styling series like these, I want to show people how they can still look amazing. They can look chic, they can look current, they can look modern while using secondhand options, while building with basics that they already have in their wardrobe. And I also personally love watching styling content, so I hope at a bare minimum that it's at least entertaining. If you like what I'm doing, hang out with me on Instagram, at foxtail.vintage. I'll put it on the screen when I'm editing this. Like, follow my channel with all nine subscribers. We're having a good time. Let's have some fun. First up, leather. Ooh, head to toe. Mm. I just went with black and monochrome because I had it. Up top, we've got a very late 90s, early 2000s Gilmore Girl, Lorelei Gilmore jacket. Just a simple silk blend turtleneck underneath. And then on the bottom, we have these crazy good boot cut leather pants. I, it's been a long time since I've gone for boot cut. I'm digging that it's still slim without it being a completely skinny leg. And on top of that, I think this is the one time in my life that I'm actually enjoying the cropped leg where it's a little bit too short. Normally I'm not really sold on that. But with the naked shoe, it's, it's doing something for me. Totally shady. <laughs> Granted, it's clipped in the back, but. Hear me out. Eh, right? Plaid skirts, yeah. We've got a flowy white blouse. Not too structured. We don't want to feel like a Scottish Catholic schoolgirl, okay? Flowy, drapey, fun. Plaid skirt and then anchored in the Doc Martin so it doesn't feel like you're wearing a kilt. Huh? Honestly, this blouse feels like it could be like a chemise from the late 19th century, but. Mmm, so good. And then you just do a little, little tuck tuck. And this guy has got a great buckle detail with this velvet strip running down. And then as always, we've got eh, the clunkiest Doc Martens known to mankind. I also have this satin bomber jacket that you could like throw over it if you want just something kind of different to put over it, so. Eh, eh, little green, little blue, little fun, little swing, little swing. And I'm just gonna say it right now before somebody else does, if they do say it, my accessories game is a little weak right now, so that's a 2022 goal to be a jewelry girl because Gorgeous, gorgeous girls have cool handbags. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls layer up the jewelry should they feel so inclined. We're manifesting that into our new reality. Yeah, but on to the next one. My main question is when was ever color blocking not cool? Because, I mean, I've, I've seen this, frankly, on runways, in street style, in fashion blogging, like the big fashion bloggers for probably the last six years at minimum. And that's just with me paying attention to it. So I love color blocking. I'm not really a big color wearer. Something that I'd like to change, TBD. But we've got purple, we've got yellow. We have two shades of yellow, but in like the same general yellow scheme and we've got the pink shoes which i thought was a fun little unexpected something something and the coolest part about this 
So everything I'm wearing is like at least 30 years old. So this stunning coat that's low key, what I would wear if I got my PhD to graduate. Um, peek the details. Boom. Oh, yes. Sleeve, shoulder. Ooh, yeah. We have Cam Klein number two. That's not what it's called, but it just, the label looks like Anne Klein number two. 80s silk pants. Fun fact, ripped the ever-loving heck out of the lining of these a couple months ago because huh, <laughs> still a little bit too much of the baby weight to fit all the way back in them. But on the plus side, it was only the lining, not these stunning pants that will be staying in my wardrobe for quite some time. And on top, we've got this really great, it's hard to tell because it's, it's tucked in, but it's kind of double-breasted. Also just, generally speaking, a bowling shirt. But hey, shoulder pads. Oh, she's got structure, she's got class, she's got saturation. Yeah, love yellow and purple together, love green and purple together. It's like those, those warm, what's the word, secondary colors? that mixing with purple, love it. Red and purple, a mm, little bit of a red hat lady moment for me, not the biggest fan. Orange and purple, love. Yellow and purple, love. Well, yellow is a primary color, so I take that back. Green and purple, love. All gorgeous things. And then of course we've got the, the pink on the feet, just to break it up, give it a little bit of a little bit of feminine pop. And again, I know, missing a bag. I repeat, working on my accessories game. Follow up on that in like two to three months and we'll see where we're at. Next up we have sheer layering pieces. In this case, I'm literally just wearing it as a top over the black bra. I thought the black bra, the black pants would look kind of fun and then we're doing this contrasting white boot that's got, it's thin this way, but thick this way. She slim thick. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I love this blouse. It's got this incredible scalloping texture to it. High neck, hook and eye closures in the back that honestly could be replaced with buttons or at least ties. Something a little bit easier to do on your own because it took a weird amount of time for me to get this thing <laughs> secured by myself. But I digress. Like, stunning. It's a great top, however, one more. We got a layering piece. We've got this shimmy shimmy shake. Watch. It goes from, oh that's cool, to, oh damn Gina. Yes, this is a bathrobe. Um, vintage. I like wearing it like a jacket. I just think it makes the best flowy statement. Like, can you just imagine, oh, taxi, oh. And then we just kind of like flounce it up behind you. Like just making a statement. You're just, I've arrived. I take up space in this. You know, it trails, well, not very well right there, but it could. And it's the potential that we love it for. That's however, not the way we're gonna look at our boyfriends. She's got a little detail here. I like to pull this up so that the peplum is in line with this. It keeps things looking a little bit neater, a little bit more trim, a little cleaner. How about her? That's fun, right? We love the icy blue with the black. It really makes everything pop at the same time. The blouse and the robe are giving us monochromatic. And there's a little white boot with square toe. Ah! Like, excuse me, this is just fun. Imagine if you had a fur right here. Oh, that's the only thing you're missing. It's upstairs, I don't feel like getting it right now, but imagine there's a fur right here doing the most. Absolutely doing the most, big fan, chef's kiss. 
and I'm ready for this. Bam! We've got multiple trends going on in one situation. We've got the funky legging trend. Hear me out. These are vintage ski pants. They're not super thick and padded though. They're literally just like stretchy. They're just super stretchy and they've got that fun stirrup detail a la, mm, what, 94? Also the 80s. I don't know why I'm trying to date that. The stirrup trend keeps, it keeps on. It survives. It's still going. But we've got the bra top situation. We've got the monochrome. In case you can't tell, love a monochrome moment. This is this phenomenal blue silk blazer. The best layering piece. A fantastic staple piece for your wardrobe. And then I pulled these bad boys out. These were, I got, I got these like four or five years ago on sale. They're just Steve Madden, nothing crazy. But man, that floral comes in clutch. This is a fun statement. Still fits in that blue theme, adds a little bit of sex appeal. So it's like, hey, if I was still hitting bars or like nightclubs, if any of that was still a thing, this is the look. This is the look. I'm gonna save this one, file it away in my back pocket. So whenever I'm in New York City again, this is, this is it. She's it, okay? Period. So not exactly the same blue, but close enough close enough to count, you know? What is it, horseshoes and hand grenades? Got this great lapel, double button front, but not double breasted, <laughs> unlike me. <laughs> anyway, um, we've got the cup bra. I love these, this is, um, I don't know what this is, but I'll link it in the description in case anybody gives a shit. And I love this bra, it's perfect so you can use it as a layering piece, like in this situation. It's super soft, all that good stuff. We've also got these super high rise pants that barely fit me and super stretchy, super comfortable. And then let's see if we can get up close with these shoes. Boom, floral shoes. I feel like that bitch, I'm just missing a bright pink lip or a red lip. But yeah, you get them just super cute, right? Okay, on to the next. Last one. We've got head to toe denim. Not sure how I like this. Honestly, I've never worn a jean jacket like this in my life, AKA, I mean, I've worn this specific jacket a lot, but in terms of the angles at which it is placed, as well as this situation, well, I do that a lot too, but I don't know, what do you think? Yay, nay? I don't know. I think it was kind of funky and wonky and good. Uh, we'll go with it. But underneath, I put, because jean jackets are not warm, I put this really great structured cardigan. It's also cropped, which is fun. So it's more structured than your standard knit. And then on the bottom, we have these great silver tab Levi's that I thrifted many moons ago. Before I got them, they were hacked at the hems and I'm a big fan of the distressing. So they're also just generally dirty all over. I'm pretty sure one of my friends borrowed these. When she went on tour and her friends kept being like, hey, your butt's dirty, you sat in something. And she was like, no, it's just the jeans. So they're dirty, they're grungy, they're peak 90s. Caro and Chic were just missing our dirty Nirvana tea that hasn't been washed in three months. But yeah, what do you think? I put the naked heels on the bottom. I thought it'd be kind of a fun, different pairing that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Doc Martens felt too easy. So it would have been like head to toe, grungy, clunky, denim, black boot, all that stuff. Whereas I feel like the delicate feminine shoes, they give us something unexpected. It's a juxtaposition. It's contrast of style while still being objectively neutral. It gives it some kind of fun, kind of different. It gives it an angle, so, yeah. This is actually, this was my dad's jacket. I stole it from him many moons ago. I say stole, he didn't find me. He was like, yeah, you can have that. I'm like, good, cause uh, I was gonna take it anyway, but isn't it great? 
Levi's. I mean, this is literally everything that people want from a Levi's jacket these, these days. It's huge, it's perfect for layering. It's like really distressed. My dad was, I don't think he washed this as much as he should have, but that's another story for another day. Yeah, she's denim. All right, y'all, that's that. Um, those are my six trends that I styled. Hope you like what I did with them. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you watched this and you enjoyed it, let me know and I can do another one. Maybe I can style things up and down next time so we can do like a dressed up and a casual version. Um, but if you like what I do, give me a follow on Instagram. I've got a website that I will be relaunching here in once this video goes live in a week. It'll be foxtailvintage.com still. I'm just moving it over and switching around some things, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna try to put out a video a week, but at minimum two videos a month. So yeah, have a good day.